For our reverse float assembly, our parts are laid out. Our internal perforated sewer pipe, our float with a rope attached going all the way up to the top. We've got our external clear pipe, our internal pipe support. We've got our indicator, a rope clamp, and the external horizontal pipe. Since none of these parts are actually glued together, the only tool we'll need is a Phillips head screwdriver for the rope clamp. Our non-invasive internal pipe support is used for safe tanks or when a bolt through the sidewall is not desired to support your piping. The support will come with a reducer already installed in the center to fit the pipe size that you've ordered. The bolts on the bottom of the support can be adjusted with a three-quarter inch box wrench to achieve a level surface on the bottom of the tank. The pipe itself does not need to be glued into the support. You can simply set it in and press down. We've got the internal pipe for the reverse float installed on the back side of this bulkhead. There's two ways to achieve this. If it's safe and feasible to make an entry in the tank, you can go in and install it on the back side. If not, two people, by using the rope and rigging the pipe all the way over to the fitting and bringing it back up through is also a way to achieve this. We're going to put the outside together and as these parts are not glued together, we'll start with them separately. First will be the toe nipple. and we'll run it through the rope. Next, the elbow with the roller pulley. Followed by our horizontal pipe. and the final roller pulley elbow. At this point, we're prepared to put the rope clamp on the rope. We're now ready to assemble the external indicator as well as the rope clamp. We'll have to adjust the rope level as well. Pulling the indicator through the rope, measure off a level that is approximately an inch to an inch and a half below the bottom of the roller elbow. We'll now assemble the rope clamp to the visual indicator. Using a Phillips screwdriver, you can open up the clamp itself. And we'll take two pieces of the rope and clamp them inside. Okay, with our external indicator now installed, we're ready to install the external clear pipe. The one thing we'll want to make sure beforehand is that the rope is running smoothly on the pulleys themselves. Just give it a good tug a couple of times and make sure everything is fine. Once we've got that, your pipe simply slips right inside and our reverse float is installed.